sorry to have to do this, but I'm compelled to ask you to go one more time back to the question about Congressman Wolorski. I'm not sure why. Why? Well, why one second. more time? Uh, frankly, honestly, I think the memory of the Congresswoman and history requires some clarity here. Um, hmm. Can you explain where the mistake was made? Did the pres was the president confused? W was something written in the teleprompter that he didn't recognize? Can you just help us understand what happened? I mean, you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. Seen, no, but you're. But, find but out I, what happened here. I. No, I hear you, Stephen. I'm. I'm answering the question that you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. I just answered the question. If I had said, if that had been the case, I would have stated that, right? I would clearly have stated uh, what you just laid out. Uh, what I have said is that she was on top of mind, and that he is going to see her family in just two days' time on Friday to honor her, to honor her work. To honor, uh, to honor um, her legacy, if you will. Uh, I, I just mentioned this, it's gonna be a renaming of a VA clinic in Indiana in her name. And, you know, that is, that is what he was thinking of. He was thinking about her uh, as, he was, as he was naming out and calling out uh, the congressional champions on this issue, on this really critical issue that's going to help millions of Americans. And, that is, uh, that, is, uh, that is what the president uh, was focused on. Would you be prepared to release the prepared remarks that the president had in teleprompter just so we could understand? Uh, I'm not understanding why, why that would be, would be necessary. We always share uh, the remarks that the president uh, had, um, uh, even you know, delivered. That's probably gonna be up on the website. Uh, not really sure what that has to do do with anything. I just answered the question about her being on top of mind. I don't think that's any that's unusual. I feel like many of us have gone through uh, that particular uh, you know time where someone is on top of mind and you call them out uh, and you mention them, especially in this this type of context. If you think about how he's going to see the family in two days, if you think about how when he sees them in two days, it's going to be for such an important moment, a signing. Uh, signing a piece of legislation that's going to rename a VA clinic in her uh, in her state, that's important. Uh, if you think about this issue and how important this issue is, and he was, again, calling out the congressional champions uh, for this particular issue. Right, let me um, ask you about something else. The president's oh, sure. scheduled tonight yeah. has him attending a political fundraiser mm -hmm. while the storm is hitting the state of Florida. Is it still his intent to go to the fundraiser, or will he stay here at the White House and monitor the building? So um, we don't have anything to change, any changes uh, in his <coughs> schedule. He has been really steadfast uh, and very clear and has spoken multiple times uh, on what is happening uh, in, in Florida and what we are seeing with Hurricane Ian and other hurricanes right before this, Hurricane Fiona as well, as you all know. Uh, and so his, uh, his administration is on top of this. Uh, he, uh, again, signed the declaration uh, uh, for Florida uh, even before landfall, right? The moment that the governor uh, asked for assistance from us, uh, within hours, the president signed that declaration. Uh, you can see how focused he is on it. You can see how important of an issue this is. And uh, sadly, this is not the first extreme uh, weather scenario that we have had to deal with uh, under this administration for the nice last 19 months. And you have seen. And I think you would agree, Stephen, you have seen this administration respond with, uh, with efficiency, uh, respond with the full force of resources, and, uh, and certainly take this uh, incredibly seriously. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.